You know, there's something fascinating about remodeling in an old farmhouse, such is the case as we're working on our upstairs bathroom. What I know is that there are always surprises, and you're going to find a lot of history. So for example, take a look at this old insulation. I'm sure at one time it went all the way up to the ceiling. Not the case now. And just look at the multitude of paint colors. You know, I am convinced that whenever they must were working on another project and they had some paint left over, they must have said, gosh, we have a small room upstairs, let's paint it. But what I know is that when it comes to remodeling a room or working in a family business, that there are times when you and I need to get down to the bare bones. Because it is those bones that will ensure the foundation of strength in a business. It is also the guardian of goodwill between family members. And it allows both the business and the people to grow. Now, here's a back to the bone exercise that I often do with family members, especially when I find them at loggerheads, a conflict in personality or how they're going to do things, or maybe the vision and the goal for the future. I ask them all to come into the same room and to simply tell me what year they either started in the business or started the business and to describe what the business looked like at that time. Then I give them each a sheet of blank paper and I ask them to please write down your reasons of why you joined the business or invited other people to come into the business with you. You're going to have 10 to 15 minutes to do this, so think hard because when you're done, I'm going to collect your answers and share them with other people. And here's some of the things that I've heard. You know, I want this business to grow, but I couldn't do it on my own. I want this business to continue in the family as a family business. We needed and wanted their contribution, their expertise, their energy, their capital, their vision, their experience. Others say, you know, I couldn't retire unless I had somebody to continue the business. And then quite often I hear, gosh, I could never even get started in a business were it not for family members. Then there are health reasons of why we transition. There is always, always loyalty to the place and to the people and to the land. And as one farmer told me last week, you know, I hate marketing and technology. Guess that tells you right away why we have other people working in the business with me. You know, this brief exercise is worth the time to remember. A time to remember that this is the bones of why we stay motivated to continue the business and work well together. It is also a reminder of why we need to do the very important work of not just labor, but management, leadership, and ownership. Because it's when you remodel from the bones of a foundation that the legacy of both your family and the business can continue.